for some reason i am like so excited to do this episode i don't know why so and honestly i'm i apologize from now for any bad production skills because i don't know i'm showing i don't know about this angle it's different i'm just trying to do different things right now <laughs> i'm experimenting i am following my is that my authority or my profile i think it's my profile I still got some more learning to do. But anyways, y'all, I am welcome to another episode of my life as a projector HD in human design. And uh, I started this series about a month ago. Was it a month? Has it been a month? I don't know. I mean, I started, I thought of the series actually about a month ago. And it just clicked like, oh shit. Just you love human design you love science you love astrology why not vlog about your experience i mean there will be more i know that some most of these videos so far has been like face front face just talking to you directly but there i do plan on like actually vlogging my my life as a projector it's just that i'm very intentional with my time and energy and i don't feel like there's anything really going on for me to like vlog <laughs> If anything, when I'm vlogging, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. As a projector, I'm not gonna put too much on my shoulder. So I may, you may not see me post in like a two week span here and there. Um, yeah, I'm just leading with my body these days and following how I feel. Following if it's if my body is tired, it's tired. I can't, I can't do, I can't go against it. I can't go against my body. I'm not gonna even attempt um so that's just one i'm just i'm just following so i'm not really big on the schedules i've been doing great so far by posting the video every sunday i've been doing well but there may be some sundays that i don't feel like posting and i'm gonna just have to follow that so yeah just i'm just putting it out there just putting it out there um but that goes that also goes along with what the topic is today and where we're, we're gonna talk about that whole thing about waiting to be invited. If you are a projector in human design and you've been studying and researching, you have heard, um, I'm pretty sure you have read about the fact that we not supposed to be going out there banging on doors and smacking bitches. <laughs> We're not supposed to be going out there doing the most. We're supposed to like literally just like, people supposed to come to us. We are meant to be seen. But how many of us have felt so unseen? As much as projectors are meant to be seen, how how many of us have haven't been seen? Have have felt like we haven't been seen? Have have felt like we haven't we're not being understood? We're gonna go into that because honestly speaking, that has a lot to do with whether it has a lot to do with the alignment of it. It's it's, it's really. When you go, when you dig into it, you realize why you may have been rejected so many times. Like I know for sure, I understood why. I just like I was just getting told no, no. Whether it was with regards to motherfucking work, <laughs> whether it was in regards to relationships, even friendships, like just no, no, no. So like yeah i'm gonna be talking about that and it's just you know just the stuff that comes with it i'm uh, i'm excited to shoot i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the pisces new moon uh, i don't know if this is this if this is the sun that's shining on me right now <sighs> i don't know what it is but i'm just like i'm just like ready <laughs> i'm so ready i'm so ready for this new year y'all i'm so i'm so ready for <sighs> i feel like it's time. I feel like if you have been feeling, I'm about to go off course a little bit. I'm about to get in my preaching bag. I know what I'm about to get in my shit. So I, if you have been feeling like you've been putting in the work, and you've been feeling like you haven't been seeing the, the, the harvest of that work you've been putting in, if you feel like you have been, been reciprocated, what you've been giving out, when you, what you've been putting out, it, it is our time. If you consider yourself the underdog, if you consider the, yourself the one that is often thought of last, <laughs> black sheep of the family, if you ever felt like 
life just was never fair. It's, it's time for life to be fair to you. It's time for life to be fair. So accept that. Accept that. So that's another thing, guys. I'll I'll randomly just go into like a whole channeled message. So we're just gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started on the topic of the day. Um, I've grown accustomed to enjoying everything in the moment and just being patient and just going with the flow. I just got on that train. <laughs> and apparently you can see it because I'm happy as fuck. And I, honestly, I don't know why it took me this long to be like, yo, fuck this shit. <laughs> like, why it took me so long? So the whole waiting for invitation thing. <sighs> and if you are, if you consider yourself someone that likes to take initiative, I understand. <laughs> like... What? You're telling me that my life don't move unless somebody pop up and be like, hey, nice to meet you. I mean, like, not to be that, not to, not to exaggerate, because we still have a life. We still, projectors still get to uh, master their skills and have fun and have fun resting and receiving. Like, there are some advantages. Why does that paper keep falling? There's always, there's some advantages to being a projector, but... I do know that whole waiting for invitation thing really does just fuck us up sometimes, especially if we don't know how to let go and not be so much in control all the time, not feel like we need to like have a say so all the time to like to to like know what's gonna happen next. Always wanna know what's gonna happen next. Like it doesn't have to be that way. Let me get my paper. <laughs> Yeah, so that has been one of my, y'all, that has been one of my down, my downfalls and why I wasn't, I was, for the most part, not in my human design. I was not, I was, I was, I was operating like my not self theme. It's because instead of saying, like releasing and surrendering, I was holding tight to every, every scenario in my life, holding tight to everything, like just like. Thinking I could control shit. Like, thinking I could control people. Huh? <laughs> and that, yo, every time I led a situation with my ego, my ass got caught on the fire. Like, I felt, I felt the backfire for that shit. Like, we can't we can't be living out here in the ego i mean it gotta be balanced i guess we need our ego don't get me wrong we need our ego we should not kill it we, i was not waiting for the invitations and not only that like if i was invited and i'm talking about i'm talking about this for anything if i was invited because just because i've been waiting so i mean i've been rejected so many times or felt like abandoned and was lacking that self that sense of security within i would jump on whatever came my way not all the time but like it was more than than i wasn't doing it i would say and those weren't good invitations either because i have to now see how like, like we we make choices too not only, like, yeah, we got to wait for, wait to be invited to that job, to that relationship, to that, um, friendship, hell, fucking career, like, yeah, but we also get a say so on what, on, on, on what we want to, to be invited to, yeah, we also get a say so in what we want to be invited to. So not everybody gets a pass because that's because they invited us. But yeah, so the whole thing about waiting for an invitation is basically like, we're not necessarily just, we're not waiting. We're not like just laid up, not doing nothing. No, this whole time while we are waiting to be seen and have someone come to us and ask us questions or have someone come to us and say, oh, I know this person, I know this person. Let me see if I can hook y'all up. 
or like just any way of any form of invitation somebody follow us on social media that we always wanted to like work work with or something that's that's a way that's a way of being invited so it's like we we literally have to just look at the form of of how we're being invited so while you're waiting for this invitation you are mastering while you are waiting for this invitation you are mastering you i would i would say that i wouldn't even say your skills i wouldn't say your goals i wouldn't say no projectors your guides we are guides we are very necessary to the motherfucking puzzle we are so important that all the other types are looking for our assistance because no one could see the bigger pictures like us, like us no one have that sense of as much of the wisdom like we do we are just mastering ourselves and then by you falling into because while, while you're mastering why are you doing self-mastery right you are literally aligning all your chakras and you're aligning yourself to where you need to be, which is going to automatically have those that's meant to see you, see you. Because <laughs> one thing for sure, projectors, if you do not recognize you, nobody else will. It really goes back to you. Like, do you feel like you're waiting for validation? Do you feel like you, you're not worthy of that bonus or that raise or that position? Do you feel like you you don't deserve love so you're like creating blockages in your love life it all goes back to how you view it like what do you like how <laughs> because they're not like i it's it kind of it's kind of trippy i'm not gonna lie sometimes i feel like because of my lack of belief in myself i kind of concealed myself there are many times when i wasn't operating as my like i would be i was me but more more like a sheltered me like I wasn't as loud as I want to be because I'm loud I'm fucking loud I love to curse that's me and I don't want to apologize for that but I realized in certain scenarios I would definitely be on some like somebody will get a uh, vibrant you know vibey me and then somebody else would get like a this bitch is boring me like at my core i'm very vibrant but until i feel safe you're gonna get that other side of me it, i don't know if that's some scorpio shit I have a, i'm a scorpio rising so i don't know like that i think it's i think it's some scorpio shit it sounds like some scorpio shit <laughs> psychopath <laughs> but nah um but yeah so that's that um how I handled rejections, the waiting period. Yeah, so like, so yeah. And then another point is when you're when you're when you are being invited. Like I said earlier, it's, it's important that you take a look at what what is inviting itself to you. Do you even like it? Do you want it? Yeah, you are being invited but you are also doing the inviting by allowing the invitation to take to take space in your life so that and then i think the only way that you could see is if you if you understand yourself so this is why self-mastery is so important for projectors oh my goodness it's all making sense uh, I will, i've always been big on self-mastery like I don't compete with nobody. I be competing with myself. Competing with them. Challenging them. You know? And that's why I'm always labeled selfish and shit. Because I be in my own world. Hell fucking yeah, man. I came here to have some fun. I'm going to have some fun. In this fucking meat soup. So I could work it. I'm going to have some fun. Yeah. The fuck? The way you recognize if the invitation is the one for you, you'll feel it. Especially if you're emotional. I know with me, I'm a splenic projector. I, it was like, it's like, it's like this, it's like this deep, potent inner knowing that I just can't shrug. 
and if I, I can't shrug it because it'll they they said that it doesn't repeat it just come in the stage but my shit be repeat it'd be like bitch did you not hear what i just said <laughs> i'm like okay i'm gonna go that way then don't play they don't play about me they don't play about me that's fair right there they don't play about me not at all but some people probably feel like a gut feeling or hear hear voice or is whatever your you, your gift is how you receive messages we all, we all receive messages differently so that's one like you'll you'll know with you'll know nobody's you and you're you're you you know what feels good and what doesn't feel good so you'll automatically know whether an invitation if you are if confusion it's best for you to be on some or i'm not i'm not gonna even do this like not right now at least like kind of like take the time to figure out why you're confused because most of the times I realize when I had like this, oh, I'm going to do this. And there was no like hesitancy. I always succeeded in that area because it, it was my first, the first nudge. And I was very excited. That feeling really does matter. If you're confused, if you have a little anxiety and a little weird, like a weird feeling, then it's like, okay, let me take a minute. Maybe I need to take a nap. Maybe after that nap, you'll realize, oh, I shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's how I recognize my invitations. I recognize my invitations because it made me, it made me feel, it made me feel good. And I love what makes me feel good. I'm really big on that. Like feeling good is important to me because I'm a feeler. I'm a, I'm such a feeler. I feel everything. And sometimes it, it's, it could be too much. Like, and that's why I don't be around too much people because people be sick. <laughs> like, and I don't have time for that. But, um, what the fuck did I just say? I forgot y'all. I think I was basically telling y'all how I be knowing. Yeah. Like I just be knowing that it makes me feel good. And then another thing is I, I'm like, Oh, is it beneficial to me? As much as I know I'm be beneficial to it. Like, you have to fill my cup as much as I'm filling yours. But I, I understand, though, like, as long as I'm doing what I gotta do, my cup overflows. But not if somebody's taking, taking from my cup, then I, I, I'm i not gonna be able to overflow. And I need, I need to overflow. <laughs> fill me up, let me overflow. The way I was handling, handling rejections. <laughs> Imagine getting rejected back to back to back to back to back to back. And I'm talking about in all areas of your life. Back to back. Like, I, at one point, I really believed that my life was one big juju. Like, it was bad luck. Like, I was bad. My hands were salt. It was salt, man. Like, at one point, I was really believing that shit. But it was just me. It was me getting in front of my own way. It was me <laughs> being stubborn as hell. So, that was the way that I kept, like, uh, attracting these weird vibes because I, I wasn't taking a moment to sit down with myself to really see within like I was actually afraid because I'm really powerful and I'm I be intimidated I used to be very intimidated by powerful people so it makes sense why I was getting myself it makes sense why I kept running yeah that's a whole nother story for another day y'all we'll talk about it later um so you attract the right invitations by literally being in your body, doing the things that bring you joy. I don't feel like projectors should do anything that makes them. Like, we're not even designed to work, y'all. That's, that's what gets me. We are supposed to be here just chilling and literally experience heaven on earth. Uh, projectors. Uh, allow life to do it for you. Release your... And this is for any energy type. If you're a, if you're a manifester, manifesting generator, if you're a generator, if you're a reflector, it's for all y'all because at the end of the day, it's each one teach one. And I've mastered myself to get to the point where I could share what I know with you guys. So I hope that you're, even if you're not a projector, because we also have certain similar um, channels and gates and stuff. So that makes certain things is really relatable. So yeah. So before I end this video, I end this video, I'm gonna give three tips. I wrote them down on just being successful, period. 
the more aligned that you are, the more aligned invitations come towards you. Always remember that. It starts with you. Take care of you and, the, and everything will follow. Make sure you are your number one priority. Make sure you're getting your rest. Make sure you're eating the way your body needs you to eat. A mind look like whatever's healthy to you, your body knows what it wants, when it wants it. If it's thirsty, it's thirsty. If it's hungry, it's hungry. For what reason, it's gonna crave certain things over the next. Only you know why. Balance, always balance. Develop a relationship with your body. I am huge on movement. I'm always dancing. I'm always winding up my waist in the, in the mirror. I love mirror magic. I will talk about, I think I talked about it on this, on my other channel, Shandy Love Speaks. Oh yeah, yeah, I have another channel where I talk real shit other than projector stuff. That Shane Love Speaks. Proud of it. Um, subscribe if you would like to subscribe. And oh uh, yeah, so movement, stretching, just being in front of the mirror, looking at your body, talking to you, talking to yourself and doing some tapping. Hug yourself. The more you understand and know your body, the better off you are in life, period. Not if not only being a projector, human, human design, it doesn't matter, in life, period. <laughs> um, being invited, following the feeling. Yeah, so like, yeah, so as you develop your relationship with your body, you create this trust, you create the system, you create what you, it's like you create, you integrate the mind and 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 your heart and it's working in inclusion and and it's working together and and it doesn't feel as an, a, a resistance anymore things don't seem hard anymore the way you look at life does not is that the same and this is just when you know you're in your self-theme self-theme is successful self-theme is rich abundant prosperity healthy happy you know so i hope you guys really enjoyed i enjoyed this conversation and i hope you guys enjoyed it too please follow me on instagram shandy love the perfect aline yay i am on tiktok as the perfect alignment I am so excited to continue to share what I know and build a beautiful community of people who love to learn and love to share their knowledge too. I'm not the, I don't want to be the only one sharing knowledge y'all or anything, any insights. I love it for it to be a community thing. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video of my life as a projector.